Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Kiki and Kibbits. It's me, Mary, and I'm here today on this Manic Monday with Love After Lockup, Life After Lockup, Love During Lockup, Word on the Street. I have a couple of juicy stories for you guys. An update on Maurice, Montana Mills and Mocha hanging out on the studio, and much more. Let's hop right into this. If you haven't had a chance to check out my recap slash interview with Melissa yesterday, we recapped um, last weekend's episode 45, Without Trust, You Have Nothing, please do, because it was the debut of the ring. She finally gets to wear her ring and show it off, guys, and she was showing it off during our recap. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, please do. Now, Montana Bells and Mocha, they have been, you know, hanging out in the studio. Montana Mills is making music. Um, him and Justine have a podcast out. He actually shared a video of the studio and how, you know, it's coming along. As you can see here, they have a TV from Manhattan Barbie to watch, you know. So I want to share this with you guys. Just give me one second. So Montana Mills took to the gram to show off the studio that he is working on, you know, building out so he can make music. So I want to share um, that video with you guys. And right after Mike's video is what Mocha shared to his story. And I have real, real deep, serious questions about this. So let me share the videos first so you guys can see what I'm babbling about. We'll be doing it with work. See what it is. Be right here. This is the B room. You know what I'm saying? The grand pian. TV. Daniel Sagan for Maddie. Maddie. Maddie, come in. Maddie. Come in. It's the A room. Oh, yeah. See what we have. See what we're doing. Ooh. The bad boy is out. Yeah. No, did he? Let's get to work. So stuff. Okay, so that is Mike showing off the studio. And now we have Mocha. Definitely Nicole Leonard. You, you're not sick and tired of seeing me win? You're still trying to take me down. You told everybody I left New York. I ran out of New York because I snitched on Montana Mills. That's <laughs> negative, man. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> My that nigga did my lie. nigga did all the all those years in prison and you think he's gonna sit down next to me? You <laughs> said he was a snitch. Yeah, I, Results say that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie Nicole, keep it up, girl. And you're getting sued next year. Remember, I'm I'm giving you fear warning. You're getting sued, and I'm bringing it to you. That group and all your all your you know fellow compatriots, all your your your, your <laughs> Yeah, this one. Yes, that is the baby we hear in the background. He wow. said I snitched. I snitched on my nigga. She took it down with a quickness though, but we got the receipts. I'm in your group. And we got the paperwork. And we got the paperwork. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> okay. So Montana Mills, Mike is hanging out with Mocha in the studio with the baby. And you guys want to know why makes why this makes me nervous? I'll tell you why this makes me nervous. Lives like these that um, Montana Mills and Mocha held on the gram mm, a little less than a year ago, maybe eight or nine months or so ago, is the reason why I get nervous knowing that the baby is in the studio with them. 
right? Everyone's That's coming it. forward saying you scammed this or scammed that, have done this. And well, why aren't you in cuffs? Where's the proof? You got to be that good of a, a scammer. God damn it, bro. Put tell me on. Right. They telling me that he's a two time felon. How is he able to still have one of these? You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. And the good thing about it is, whoever they, they trying to get somebody to come and try to plug me, to try to kill me. That's all I have to say, guys. It just makes me nervous knowing that Mike is in the studio with Mocha and there could be an unsecured gun. Okay, yes, I said it. There could be an unsecured gun, and that shit makes me fucking nervous. So, Mocha and Mike hanging out in the studio, doing their thing. Mocha has been talking shit that he's going to be back on the show. I'm really hoping that is not true, okay? But my main concern is the baby being in the studio with someone who is known to have an unsecured gun. Just saying. So moving on. I have a health update on Maurice. Um, a source close to the family. Told me that allegedly. Mandy had Maurice pulled. From the rehab center that he was in. Where he was getting physical therapy. And um, the reason why. She had him pulled from the rehab center. She needed a babysitter. Allegedly, because she had to go to a wedding. So she had Maurice pulled from the rehab center. And um, from what I understand, since she had him pulled, he hasn't received any physical therapy. Um, he's had a couple of infections in his catheter. I mean, it's it's just come to the situation where you know Maurice has depend has to depend on Mandy. And, you know, she allegedly is, is not doing too well by him. So that's what I hear. Okay. Just wanted to bring that to you guys. On the other hand, we have Jessica. I'm loving this hair color on her. I really, really do. And her son is so fucking adorable. Okay. That's all I have to say on that subject. Teeny and Rob are enjoying their fall together, you know, doing family things, football nights, trick-or-treating, all that fun stuff. Um, Shantae and Shrew, okay, Shantae put an update up on Facebook. I withdrew from those groups a while back because it was just depressing, not because Tisha revealed information or individuals displayed their true nature. Recall three sides exist. Currently, I'm relaxed, serene, and flourishing. Life is great. I'm cooking, traveling, and working. I gave my master's and I'm hanging with my family. I have no conflict, no public criticism or prolonged Q&A for me, especially when facts are optional. Karma and God or jail will address it. Not. Sending love, abundance, prosperity, and healing. True, on the other hand, says not everyone will make it to my future. Some people are passing through to teach me life lessons. Bianca, Bianca and um, Shantae, okay? I'm going to put them up for a cook-off right now, okay? So I think both of these dishes look fucking slamming. Drop me a comment. Whose dish would you eat? Bianca's pasta dish or Shantae's dish? Okay. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm moving on. Bianca was a bridesmaid at her friend's wedding over the weekend, and it was 35 fucking degrees in Iowa. Oy, okay. And Dylan and Heather, a little Dylan and Heather update. Okay. Um, Heather, as usual, her, her wackadoodle self has a wonderful idea for Christmas for all children. Um, someone posted in a Facebook group in our house, Santa is real. Please teach your children kindness and not spoil the magic for others. And Heather says, 
Standards should be real in every single household. The government should allow $100 for every year of life to each and every child. The Amazon delivery man can pass as an elf with some small uniform alterations, and no one has to miss Christmas ever. Okay, Heather. Whatever you say. So moving on. Oh, yeah, that's right, guys. I have one more thing I wanted to tell you before I wrap this up. Congratulations goes out to Deontay and his 18 and a half year old girlfriend, Addie. They are expecting a child. Addie posted this to her Facebook yesterday. And all I have to say is these two need to strap their seatbelts on because parenthood is no fucking joke. So that is basically it, you guys. I don't know with this hour going back. I feel like it should be midnight already. Thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button. Share my video with a friend or 10. And please consider joining my membership. Thank you, everyone. See you next time. Bye.